what we want to try and do is ensure that people are able to visit it and get around it easily and get to the employment areas, get to the shops, get to other important destinations in the city centre. Right, my name is James Lewis and I'm the section manager for service planning. So what the Metro Shuttle does, we've got three routes at the moment, one, two and three, which all run in different parts of the city centre. As you'll see, Piccadilly is one of the most important destinations. It's the busiest station we've got in Manchester, so a lot of people arrive at Piccadilly Station. When you look at it for a passenger, it's very attractive because it's free, you don't have to pay, and that's obviously going to be attractive. But it's also very uncomplicated for passengers. What we've tried to do with Metro Shuttle is provide very clear publicity so people can quickly understand how the system works. The number of trips per day is about 7,300 and I think that's about uh, 2.6 million trips per annum. Um, the running costs per year are about 1.6 million. Uh, the, the system's financed mainly by Transport for Greater Manchester and Manchester City Council. Um, the, the private sector contribution is quite a lot smaller. My name is Gabriela Velescusa, I'm 21 years old and I'm from São Paulo, Brazil. The first time I heard it I was really excited, oh my god they have free buses, this is going to be awesome, I'm going to be able to go anywhere I want to. Then um, I realized it was not as amazing as I thought it was because actually, first of all, it's far from where I live here in Salford and once I am in the city center I don't really see the point of using it because I usually don't go everywhere in the city centre, I just go to one place, so when I get there, I don't, I mean, I can walk anywhere I want to, so. My name is Rodrigo Guedes, I'm 22 years old, and I'm from São Paulo, Brazil. I think it works better for maybe elder people, or people with disabilities. The city centre of São Paulo is probably half the entire city of Manchester. I don't think it work uh, because it's, it's a system that would not be able to sustain itself. It's a lot of people and there would have to be a lot of, lot of free buses and there's no way a, a bus company can work this way in a city the size of Sao Paulo. My name is Larissa and I'm 21. Not the free fare to start with work in Brazil. We have to like step by step, small steps at a time. But in the end, I think it will really work. I think we really need that.